Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, fly fish fanatic. Welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we'll be tying a little uh, um, a little wet fly, um, but I want to go through a few things with you guys as well, uh, especially for those that uh, aren't uh, don't tie a lot of wet flies or or don't use a lot of this material. So I just thought I'd uh, go through a few things with you. So I'll just go over to the camera. Uh, so today when we tie, it's going to be a Hens BL510 in a size 10. Um, but I wanted to show you guys, to make some stuff, some uh, things easy, I mean, you can use all kinds of stuff for the bodies. You can go straight thread, you could go with a, a floss of green, red, whatever kind of floss you'd like. You can go with uh, dubbing, you can go with all kinds of stuff. Stuff that's been a real game changer for me um, is this new, uh, oh, new, <laughs> it's kind of old, but the Zemperfly Dirty Bug Yarn. Um, so this is what it is, okay, Dirty Bug Yarn. This is the Molted Caddis Green. Um, I'll, I'll just show you guys a few of them. So basically all it is is this, right? So when you wrap that as a body, it gets really buggy looking. So this is great stuff. It really is really good stuff. Um, yes, I know I'm protein with Emperfly, but this stuff is really good. So there's a the gray caddis. Um, this one is the Rockafilia. Um, this one here is molted dark. Uh, dark brown or actually they call it molted dark green, but uh, I would say that's brown um, And then there's a uh, pale oh, Dropping that one. There's a pale olive um, There is this is a uh, um, High contrast olive they call this one so Let me get that back on All right high contrast olive. There's a pale yellow there's a uh, caddis pupa, there's the lichen, and lichen and caddis pupa, like lichen is probably my favorite, and then I really like the, uh, the racophilia and the, uh, uh, the pale olive, like these are three that I use a lot. Uh, it just, it just makes tying these, these, um, <clears throat> makes tying these, these smaller flies and, and any fly bodies just makes it so much easier so um now today i'm not going to do a rib or anything it's going to just be straight a uh, straight fairly straightforward simple little wet fly okay so i'm just gonna do a little bit of wax on my thread here just make sure i now again, it depends how how much body you want on this, how far you go back. That's about as far as I ever go back with a wet fly. Uh, quite often, I'll make a really small, short little body on them. And these are, like I said, they're really super, super simple little bugs. Um, but so today I'm going to tie with the lichen or lichen. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think it's lichen, but might be lichen. So I'm just gonna, again, just cut a little piece off, leave myself room for my wing in the front. Just tie that down, spin my thread, make sure it's nice and flat. And that's about it. Come back again. Half, oops, missed half hitch. Just so it doesn't go anywhere on you. And then just nice and tight. Just keep that, that nice and tight. All right. And if you want to if you want to create a bit of a taper, you can just go back over top. Right? And create a bit of a bulge. It's up to you what you want to do with these, right? But Tie that off. Nip that off. So that's, like I said, that's the lichen. So now I can take my dubbing brush if I clean off all the, uh, actually it's my other one. Where's, where's my stone for one? Uh, hidden. Oh, it's right there. And just give it a bit of a, brush out I can make it even buggier if I want right it all depends on what you what look you're going for right and I mean I just barely touched it to get that look 
Okay, and I can make it a lot more buggy if I want. So now, I'm just going to take a piece of uh, hen pheasant. Okay, I'm going to find a piece that will be suitable for this size. If I've got one on here that left, that's small enough. I've been really going through this one pretty well, so. Uh, that one there might be okay. Yeah. Let's see. That's a little on the long side. That one might be better. There. Yeah, there. That's going to be better. So now I'm just going to peel away all the fluff. A little long there, so I'm going to peel off half of those. And I'm going to tie this in by the butt. Really get a nice, nice tight purchase on there. Get that off. Grab your hackle pliers. Now here, it, again, it depends on what kind of look you're going for. Do you want a more full fly? Then you leave both on like this. If you want to have it a thinner fly, more of a spider style, you take you would take the leading edge off. Okay, you just peel that leading edge off. But I'm going to leave it on because I want this to be just a little fuller. I'm only going to do like three wraps. At the most, one more. Okay, tie that off. Stroke that all back. Give it a bit of a bit of a head. Find that piece of the tip that you were holding on to. Uh, where's my? My little pliers, where'd they go? They probably just dropped them somewhere. Yep, right here. My little... Just get a hold of that tip feather there. Just hold tight on your thread and just nip that off. Pull that off. finish put some head cement on there when I'm done later on and she's finished now that's a nice and scraggly looking little fly so there that's one okay I'm gonna do another one for you guys real quick so same same hook BL510 okay this time I'm going to get it even scragglier. Okay, I'm going to go with green this time. Back up to the front. And then this time I'm going to tie it with the pale olive. Okay. I'm going to take a piece of the pale olive off. Back forward. Half hitch. Again, just so you don't knock it off. Then I'm going to wrap right at the back and come forward all the way not much different than what we were just doing okay tie that off cut that off and now I'm going to make it scraglier by using my dubbing brush and 
pulling it out more. Just want to make sure that's tied in nice, nice and tight. Okay, so now I'm going to use my dubbing brush. I'm going to use the Velcro on it. And then we're going to pull this out even more. I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive, but not much because I don't want to damage this stuff too much, right? But. Stone full one, we're just gonna go underneath here. So there you go, even buggier. And if I got really aggressive, like if I would have put two layers down and got really aggressive, I actually make small leeches out of this stuff. Right? So now again, just gonna this time I'm gonna get a little soft tackle. Um, this is just a hen olive hen okay get a little feather from down below down here that should be okay I think a little long a little, a little bit shorter than okay, so I just peeled that back and it's gonna nip that off and I'll tie it in by the tip again same thing as the last one Bend that forward a little bit. Grab my. And now I could again. You know what? No, this time I'm gonna. I'm gonna make this one into more of a spider. So I'm gonna make it thinner. So I'm gonna just again, like I said, the leading edge. Just get rid of that leading edge. Right. So now when I come around, it's only gonna give me half of that material. Right. One more turn. That's no good. Grab it again. I'm not going to get as many turns in, but that's okay. Spiders can be nice and really nice and uh, sparse. This, uh, it looks like this hackle is a little on the old side. As soon as I touch it, it cuts. So I'll try another one just to make sure. Again, I know I've said this before, but that's the beauty of fly tying. You can always try again. Hmm. Seems like the stem is strong, but as soon as I was coming around touching it, bang, it broke, and I put, didn't put any pressure on it. side again nice and sparse okay that one didn't cut at all must have been that feather must have been uh, a little on the brittle side that one took that right from the bottom of the cape so maybe that was a little brittle there who knows so again let's get in there and whip finish I'm not taking it off yet the thread let's get rid of that there we go one more little whip finish Cut that off, get my lighter and just clean up that eye area just to make sure. I'm like combing out those hairs and then that's it. There it is, simple little 
buggy little wet fly, right? And that's all because of that that uh, that dirty bug urine. That dirty bug urine just makes things so easy. I could tie so many flies so quick with that dirty bug urine. It's just uh, no dubbing, no nothing, right? And that slicks back. That just looks beautiful, right? That wet fly. So, alrighty. So, like I said, yeah, just play with it. Uh, you can. It's so all kinds of different things you can do with that dirty bug gear. And I, like I said, you can even take that stuff, wrap it a couple of times, like go forward, back, like forward, back, forward, tie it off, and then pull that stuff out. And you can make beautiful little leeches. Matter of fact, I might actually do a just the dirty bug gear and leech after this. So, alrighty. Well, tie lines, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, thumbs up. Uh, if you subscribe, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. And we'll talk to you guys soon.